Hey, here we are, Mr. Wow, Esposito. Mr. Esposito, Mr. Goff here, 6th grade right. science, Ralph Channel Middle School, and... Mr. Goff, 6th grade math, Ralph, Ralph Channel Middle, Middle School. School. Mr. Esposito, did we say that? Did you say that? I think we said it twice. What are we doing in class today? Moms and dads were starting to introduce what? Cloud formation, how a cloud's formed. And you take a sneak peek in their ISNs. You're going to see these little pie charts. 25%, 50%, 75%, and 100%. Mr. Esposito, what's that all about? We already went over pie charts. We already went over percentage. We did that math, math too, so they should have heard that twice already. That's what they said, and I said, you know what? That's good that you went over that, but those are actually going to be symbols when we go over station models. Station models are very difficult to understand, very difficult to remember, and that's just the basis. I told them that's just the beginning. When we go over this in about a week and a half, you're going to see a lot more symbols and you say, wow, what is all this? It's going to look like a foreign language. So take a look at those little symbols on the left hand side of their ISNs. That represents cloud coverage. So you're going to see that little symbol go from relative humidity, 25% relative humidity, 75% relative humidity, so on and so forth. And that's going to transition into station model symbol, which gets very technical. Okay? Oh and so moms and dads, look out for that. Next week, we're going to get to weather mechanics. This is a difficult unit. We're starting with water cycle and cloud formation. They're familiar with that, but the rest of the unit starts to get very difficult and almost overwhelming for the students because they haven't seen a lot of this new stuff ever in their life. Okay, take it away this one. Okay, you know what? In math, uh, today we had an angles quiz in math six. Okay, we've talked about angles. We got the obtuse, the acute, supplementary, complementary, all kinds of angles, and we were actually um, estimating some angles too. Okay, so we had the quiz this weekend. Relax. Next week we're going to have some more notes, and then we're going to have a test in math six. Not this coming week, but the following week. Okay, week exactly. Yeah. Now in math, <laughs> in math seven. We, were, we finished up talking about box and whisker plots. Okay, we're talking about hey, whisker. box and whisker plots. Uh, yeah, yeah, box and whisker. Like that. Whiskers. Yeah. Whiskers. Good whisker. Yeah. And then next week we're going to continue on in uh, the chapter we are in right now, and we won't have a test in that next week either, probably the following week. So, test coming up in two weeks in math. Um, but there was something that's important I was going to say. We have a dance going on right now in school, Valentine's Day dance, right? And uh, what else was it? I was trying to think. Oh, oh, this is it. Um, grades, we've got grades due on Monday. We have progress reports coming out on Wednesday. That's going to be our ne Ooh. next camp. Already? Zone. Wow. Yeah. Third quarter, halfway over. That's wow. right. So, progress reports on Wednesday. We're going to have the Panther Zone going on Wednesday um, at the end of the day. And then, um, uh, I think, is that it? There was something else I was going to say. But anyway, those are important things. So, we got that going on next week and then of course next weekend is President's Day weekend where we'll have that following Monday off. Oh, so it'll be a three day holiday. Yeah. Yes, now, Mr. Goff, I'm going to try to hit you from an angle. Oh, 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 oh. Uh -oh. listen to this. Three o'clock, what type of angle? Oh, good. Three o'clock would be a uh, right angle. Excellent. 90 degrees. 310. Oh, that becomes an obtuse angle. Okay. Quarter of three. A straight angle. Oh, straight. Okay. 350. 350 would be, well, I guess acute. And what would no, be No, uh, three, I'm trying to think of what the clock looks like at 350. The 350, kind of like this, I yes. guess you're looking at obtuse. Obtuse, yeah. excellent. Dynamito, guess yep. what, Mr. Esposito, we just did that in my science class. Oh, that's I said, that was such a great idea, Mr. Goff and Mr. Alvin been teaching, I now I'll never look at a clock the same. I'll always think of Mr. Goff that's and right. Mr. Alvin. That was a yes. great lesson. It was. It was, was good. Was. Yeah. I'm going to go home and teach it to my kids. It's a good one. You know, you look at the clock. If you have hands on the clock, you all, you all should you should be able to say right, straight, obtuse, or acute. Or straight. Like that. Or if, you know, if the, the hands fall off, you know, what do we call that? Uh, 360 degrees. 360 degrees. There's no hands anymore. It's no yeah. good. All right, Mr. Simple. Esposito, 6th grade science, Ralph Chandler Middle School, and... Mr. Goss, 6th grade math, Ralph Chandler Middle School. School. Bang! Two thumbs up.